Hi guys, I am Isa and today I'm going to be starting a new programming language called JavaScript. So, we use JavaScript if you want to add functionality to our HTML websites. So anyways, so I can do simple JavaScript by just opening a website and then writing JavaScript, then a colon. I'm just gonna make an alert. I'm going to explain what I'm doing later, but I'm just gonna write this is JavaScript. Let's enter. Now it does it. So we can use JavaScript to do many things. Like if you want to add like a drag and drop to your web website, or so when you press a button, it's gonna do something and all those. Although there are some frameworks that can allow you to run JavaScript without a HTML file, but we're going to get into those later. So yeah, as I said, we can do JavaScript on the web, but for this tutorial, we're going to be using VS Code. Which is an IDE and to use to edit code. And we, so it should look like this. And when you so you have to press file open folder. And you go to where you want. You right click, look on new, then folder. New folder, I need the new folder. And then we right click on it. You click on rename. And I'm just going to rename it to JavaScript. So just gonna name it to JavaScript lessons. So now for them, we have to close it and reopen it again if I want to show the change. Now it should show. So then you click on select folder. And then it should open up VS Code. So now, I'm just going to close out of this. Now I have to click on this new file button to make a new file. I'm going to name it index.html. So what we're going to be using this HTML file for is for linking. It's for actually using the JavaScript. I'm going to do script source equals to those. So I'm going to have to input the source of the file. So I'm going to make a new file by pressing this button. And then name, and they're gonna name it script.js. Then I'm gonna write that script.js in here. And to run the file, also we have to run the HTML file, not the JavaScript file. So I went, I went to the extensions place, which is this place, and then search for open in browser. And then you click on this first one, and then you click on the install button, which should be here. After installing that, you will click on your index.html and click on whichever one you want. Open the default browser or other browsers. So I'm gonna do then my default browser, and now it shows it. So now we're going to do that simple code that we did. So what we did was write alert. So alert is a function. We're going to learn more about functions later. Since it's a function, we put parentheses. So then we want it to write text. So we have to put these quotation marks. So you can put single quotation marks or double quotation marks. Use double quotation marks if we're going to be putting single quotation marks in your text. 
new single quotation marks which are going to be putting double quotation marks in their attack. I'm going to write this as JavaScript. Also, if you if you put text If you write text in it's not inside of the quotation marks, it's the JavaScript code's not gonna work. And if there's one error in JavaScript code, then the whole thing stops working. So I'm going to end up the semicolons if you want to. But there's some ones that you can't end with semicolons. So now I'm going to reload this. It says this is JavaScript. And then you can just go on OK. So now we're done. So next tutorial, we're going to learn about variables in JavaScript. Just one, that's the end of today's video. If you've enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. So bye.